Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Grenlin G here and I have another movie review for you guys. So, let's talk about The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Was it good? Was it shit? Was it damn right awful? My verdict of it was it wasn't brilliant. So let me just first off start off. The Hobbits, they're not Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings kicks the living fuck out of The Hobbit. So I guess the only way to describe and get people to really see what I'm trying to say is if if you grew up with Lord of the Rings then you'll love Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is your is your shit, it's your baby. But if you grew up with the Hobbit, then you'll love the Hobbit. The Hobbit is like your wank bank. It is you'll love it, you'll love it. But for me, I thought the Hobbit of the Battle of the Five Armies it was it was good, but would I go watch it again? No. They've overpowered it too much with CGI and green screen to the point where it hurts your eyes, and at some points it looks like you're watching a video game. I mean, I was with my girlfriend, and she fell asleep in the film, and she wanted to go see it. I mean, that says a lot about the film. Now don't get me wrong, the film alone, just forgetting about The Lord of the Rings and the other two, just the film alone, it was alright. It was alright. It wasn't, you know, it was okay. But there's things that they could have improved it on. Like, if they used more props and less CGI, I probably would have enjoyed it more because the CGI ruined it for me because they overpowered it too much whereas in Lord of the Rings yeah they used CGI but they used props as well they used more props with CGI so it, it was the common it, it was a good level so if you watched The Hobbits and Lord of the Rings Lord of the Rings would look so much more better than The Hobbit did because they put time and effort into everything. I'm not saying they didn't put time and effort into The Hobbit, but they they tried to make it as looking as real as possible. Now there is a bit in the... I'm going to sneeze, sorry, so I'm going to try and get this sneeze out of the way. Nope, nope, I think it's gone. Anyway, there is this one bit where Legolas in The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, is running when the, on this bridge that is collapsing, and he looks like fucking Mario when he does it, because he just like jumps up these little bricks, and it just it's just fucking ridiculous. It just looks like something out of a fucking game. I looked, it looked like I was watching a 360 game. It's And the battles... Are nowhere near as cool and awesome as they were back in the day of Lord of the Rings. I mean, the film, it's got some funny moments in it. It's, it's a pretty good film. But, you know, I will give it like a 6 out of 10. The Hobbit of the Battle of Five Armies. It's, It's like it just jumps around too much. It's too cluttered with special effects that makes it almost unbearable to watch. Um, yeah, I just it was. I liked it, but I would never watch it again. I might do, but I probably won't. They ruined it. They could have done the whole trilogy so much more better, but they ruined it. By overpowering it all with too much special effects. And as the Hobbits went on, it just got worse and worse and worse. It just seemed like there's more and more and more and more and more green screens. It's like they're like, you know what? Fuck it, fuck the props. Let's go green screen all the way. 
No. No. The only film that I've watched and enjoyed that has done this is 300. The 300, when it came out, was brilliant. 90% of that film was CGI green screen. And that was good. That was good, but The Hobbit is just... They ruined it. They overpowered it. They overused it. They know what they did wrong. I mean, it did hurt my eyes at some points when I was watching it. But overall, the film, the acting was good. Yep. It was all good. Everything was good. The film, it's good. It's good. You know, I thought, I thought the battle scenes could have been better. Uh, when they're battling for the treasure, I've, I thought it could have been better and more awesome. And I was hoping it to be more awesome, like in Lord of the Rings, but no, the battles weren't, the, they were just shit. I'm sorry, but they were, they were just terrible. Um, and the dragon... Well, I thought I'll see Smog a bit more, but no, he dies at the beginning. Um, by a bow and arrow. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's just, I didn't think it was that great, to be honest. So wrapping it up, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. As a standalone film, discarding it from Lord of the Rings and the other Hobbits, it is probably about 6.5, I would say. And yeah, that's my review of The Hobbit of the Battle of Five Armies, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Ta-da!